Welcome to Matters Financial and Geopolitical from a Frontier. Thank you for stopping by. Political Reflections White House Senior Advisor, the brilliant Jared Kushner, his Middle East peace plan at one point included Jordan giving land to the Palestinian territories and in return getting land from Saudi Arabia, according to a new book on the Kushner family. There is no way he has any idea that's going to fly. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu traveled to Syria on Tuesday where he handed a message from President Putin to the Syrian leader Bashar al-Assad. And uh, I indeed, I mean, this is the first time that the re merchants of regime change have been repelled. Plenty of assistance from Russia and Iran, of course. And on that point, there is much symbolism here, since Soleimani happens to be the first Iranian commander, the first Iraqi commander, that must, to receive the Order of Zulfikar since 1979. Zulfikar is the sword of Imam Ali ibn Abi Taib, which is said to have been given to him by the Prophet. So it's pretty powerful imagery and symbolism. So we see plenty of activity amongst that resistance axis of Iran, Iraq, uh, Syria, and now Shoigu also visiting as well. Because Venezuela, the, the this is interesting, this is from Telesur English, and it's uh, Elliot Abrahams describing that what position Juan Guaido actually has. Is he the interim president of an interim that doesn't exist yet? Seems to be the conclusion. All options are open, reiterated Trump on a military option for Venezuela. Bolsonaro, Brazil, is ready to work with the USA on Venezuela. He's Trump's new best friend. And as I said previously, Maduro is, I'm afraid, going down, just like Muammar went down and as did Saddam. 4th of February, I called Venezuela the edge. There is no honest way to explain it because the only people who really know where it is are the ones who have gone over. In that article, I said the Chavez revolution was always a rebellion in the superpower's backyard and the machine was eventually going to bring it to heel by hook or by crook. August 2018, when Maduro was being attacked by remote control drone, I said Trump seems to be relishing his financial warfare strategies. And in this photograph you see Trump receiving a football shirt um, from Bolsonaro. Thank you to Ian Bremmer. China considers excluding the Boeing 737 MAX from the trade deal um, from a list of American exports it would buy as part of a trade deal with the US, people familiar with the matter said. Chinese airlines made up about 20% of 737 MAX deliveries worldwide through January, according to Boeing. It takes me back to something I wrote in July last year, tariff wars, who blinks first, and I described the tariff war as a chicky run, where both parties, Xi Jinping and Trump, race stolen motor cars towards the edge of a cliff. The first to eject out of his car is branded a chicky. A little over a week after the deadly crash of the Ethiopian Airlines uh, Boeing 737 MAX jet, the aircraft's maker's CEO, Dennis Muhlenberg, put out a personal statement to passengers, airlines and the aviation community. Well, at least he's done something because they were so far behind that curve, it was woeful. We know lives depend on the work we do and our teams embrace that responsibility with a deep sense of commitment every day. Our purpose at Boeing is to bring family, friends and loved ones together with our commercial airplane safely. We're taking actions to fully ensure the safety of the 737 MAX. Our mission is to connect people and nations, protect freedom, explore our world and the vastness of space and inspire the next generation of aerospace dreamers and doers and will fulfill that mission only by upholding and living our values. That's what safety means to us. Together we'll keep working to earn and keep the trust people have placed in Boeing, he said. 
I wrote that the lack of touch and finesse displayed by Boeing over the last seven days is mind-boggling. They have resolutely stayed behind the curve. This was his first attempt to catch up with it. The message Boeing was sending was safety came second, which is a simply untenable position. Eventually, the FAA capitulated and grounded the 737 MAX. My article um, it says the big teachable moments for me were these. Ethiopian and its government acted with a lot of decorum. Concerns about brand damage for Ethiopian are overblown. In contrast, Boeing has taken a big hit. But more worryingly, the corporate's reactions to a fast-moving situation were a D-. Beautiful morning for a flight. Thank you, Ethiopian. Looking forward to the next leg. That's Lauren P. in D.C. Trump tapped former Delta executive to head the aviation regulator. He previously proposed his personal pilot. As I said, it's an incredible statement by Ethiopian to send the aircraft's black box not to the FAA or Boeing, but to France and Airbus. That's a geopolitical moment, as it were. I said to Al Jazeera, Ethiopian is the airline of the African continent. They control the skies and fly to more destinations than anybody else. I don't think their position is under threat.